Alright guys, so we have our third little princess, little Miss Aubrey, and I apologize if I'm echoing a little bit, I'm in a different room, but Miss Aubrey has been my client since she was about two or three, I believe, so her mom already knows we're going to do whatever Aubrey wants. <laughs> so I had intentions on doing a halo braid, but Aubrey wants a ponytail. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna start pre-prepping my parts so that I can get an idea of how I want it to be designed and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some stitch braids, but I'm not going to be trying to make them perfect. Um, if I wanted them to be just perfect, I would use the comb, the tail of a rat tail comb. Um, but that takes a little bit longer, and I'm not really going for that perfect look. I kind of want it to be more of a natural look. So I'm just going to use my nails, and I'm going to stitch braid her entire head. I'm also not using any weave. Her hair is thick enough. And I didn't want the braids to be so big that you can't see the stitches. So I'm just gonna be using her natural hair. So you guys, I just thought y'all might wanna hear this. Me and these kids talk about everything while they're getting their hair done, from cartoons to toys to school, um, everything. But I thought this was so sweet, you guys. Listen to this. <laughs> wasn't that so sweet y'all like it made me want to cry i swear she said it the first time and i wasn't recording and i almost shed a tear but like i love my girls and they love me they want to stay with me they they don't want to go home once i'm done you guys so like I can't even explain these this is why I do this this is these little faces and these little smiles are why I do this So yeah, right here I'm just going to pin those braids down. I'm going to go ahead and add in the string so that I can um, wrap it around the ball and conceal the ends of it once I put the twist in. Okay, so here we go again with these twists, you guys. Like, they don't look horrible, horrible, but mm, they're bothering me. <laughs> they're really bothering me. But we're gonna put about, I say about eight or nine of them in her head. I didn't wanna put too many because in about a week, she says she wants to unravel them so that she can have a curly ponytail. So I don't want it too big and too full, just enough to cover the ball. My original 
original plan was to go in with some knockaballs because I had a lot of those. Um, but it was squeezing too tight around the ball and I didn't want her to have any problems down the line. So we decided to just go with a bow, which is even cuter. And we're gonna add some beads to the end, slip down the baby hairs, our normal routine, spray our scalp with some oil, add a little lip gloss, and there you have it. This is style number three. So if you like style number three and you like to see it featured as my July style of the month on my social media platforms, please comment number three down below. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for part four. As always, this is your girl, Miss Versatile. I love you, dolls.